we're back. We are finally we are back. back. I know we've had, well, it seems probably like a vacation to you, but it definitely wasn't a vacation. No, it was not. It's been very, very busy. We had a con we went to and all that. But I know this is a video you guys have been waiting for because it's a video that we've been waiting mm -hmm. to show you. It's something we've been more excited about this year than most things I think we've oh, been able definitely. to Oh, definitely. And what we're talking about is DC Collectibles Artist Alley line. So mm -hmm. this is a line that if you ever go to cons, you know what the Artist Alley is. It's basically where artists set up, right. show the work, you can buy their work. And it's a good stepping stone for independent artists to maybe mm -hmm. become something bigger, like right. what we see right. in here. So what we're talking about is the Chris Ominga Artist Alley DC Trinity mm -hmm. sets, I right. guess is what we'll call them. So let's get right into them. I am so excited about showing these off, and I think once you see them, you guys might want them to. Priced right. Good yes. size, great box art, mm -hmm. and variants. We love variants. Yeah, and they're limited. And limited. I forgot about yes. that. Limited's the best part, right? Yes, exactly. <laughs> so before we go into the different variants, I do want to again explain that the different variants are at different stores. Yes, sir. So we have Hot Topic, we have Box Lunch, we have GameStop slash Think Geek, we have Regulars, and mm -hmm. we have San Diego Comic Con. And they also color code those mm -hmm. depending on what the actual statue is, what the variant is, right. and what store. So let me kind of go over the boxes real quick before we go over what the variants are. Let's start up uh, the Glow in the Dark box launch. If you're looking at these and wondering if it is a store exclusive, they actually label it here on the corner of the box. Right. Which, I just want to talk about how great these boxes are. I love these boxes. They're perfect if you just want to like stack them because the box art is very pretty. So if you wanted to display these in your room as well, if you have space for them, they're yeah. perfect for that. And uh, the reason you say that is because the front of it mm -hmm. is, I believe, magnetic. Yeah. Yes. And it opens up. Hello. And then as you can see, we have the statue out of it, but he'd be right in there. Mm -hmm. And then it has a sketch, a painted sketch of what the variant is on the front of it, which looks fantastic. It's a really good quality print, and the yes. paper that it's on is like textured, so it's really, really good paper. This is one of my favorite things about these boxes, is if you're in the store and you have no idea what they are, I hate when you have a box of something and you can't see inside of it. I yeah. love the fact that all of these open up so you can actually look in and see what you're purchasing without opening the box completely. I 100% agree with you. Great like cover on the front of it. Yeah. Uh, when it's regular, it doesn't have anything on it. Like I said, with the GameStop and ThinkGeek, again, you get the GameStop logo on the front mm -hmm. of it. And uh, again, Hot Topic. Hot Topic there on the corner. And again, like we said, you open it up, you get right. a really cool sketch of what, uh, you know, what the actual variant is. One drawback, I would say, though, is the sketch is actually in plastic and you can't yeah. get into it unless you rip it. Right. Which is kind of a bummer if you want to take these out and display them maybe in mm -hmm. a frame. Because I do know... They do have frames that fit this little sheet of paper where like mm -hmm. multiple pictures so you can right. put all your variants in one frame. Which so would be cool, but we're such box collectors mm. that we're just going to leave that be. However, I will say these should be out of the box. Yes. I, think. I think they are uh, just absolutely fantastic. And again, on the box, I do want to say before we get into the variants, on the sides of these boxes, it does show every variant character within the trio. Yeah, within so that line. So as you line. can see, you got all of them in there, mm -hmm. regulars and, uh, and the glow-in-the-darks. And then we also have regular other ones and that's those and I also want to say before we'll have a comic-con exclusive one too where it's just a regular box I don't know what they were doing I don't know what the heck they were thinking but I'm not a fan of this I'm not a big fan of that either and I don't know if it's because at the con they were thinking people have limited space in their bags so maybe we won't take up as Possibly. much space yeah I have no idea I mean the box is okay it's nowhere near as cool as these. and we'll go over that when we get into the comic-con stuff because there's more I want to talk about mm -hmm. that so let's get started so at first let's start with the original regular Trinity lineup these are limited to 3,000 pieces so they're not as difficult to get as some no. of the exclusives but they're still kind of hard to find yeah these are the ones you're gonna actually be able to get right. online if right. you aren't going to go hunting to these other stores or you don't have these stores in your area. Yeah, and you might be able to find these in some of the stores around you too. True, true. So uh, I'll start off with Batman, of course, because Batman. Originally, when I saw this line, I thought I'm just going to buy with Batman's yeah. because the Batman's are great. <laughs> I actually like Chris Aminga. It's Chris Aminga's art. I think mm -hmm. his art is fantastic. It transitions so well into a five inch sculpture, yeah. I guess, somewhere around there. It's about what these are five inch. Transitions so well. And you've probably seen mm -hmm. his art if you have Bambach. You might have got like the Edward Scissorhands yeah. art. Uh, he actually has that art, I think, multiple times in the box if I'm not mistaken. He just has sort of that weird eye. Yeah, so he has a very distinct look in the face structure. Yeah, and that's what I really like about it. And it transitions really well into mm -hmm. Batman. It I does. really like this one. This one is just a normal a gray suit, black pants, basically, with a purple cape in the back. Now, that's what we've mm -hmm. seen lately with Batman, that purple in the back of the yeah. cape. A lot of people don't like that, I don't uh, like but it, it actually looks really good on this figure here. Mm -hmm. So, And I love how the eyes are done so well where you get a little blue around the edge. Yeah. I, the paint app on this, I think, is what makes this thing so well done. I mean, mm -hmm. I mean for, for 40 bucks. Yeah. We're talking yeah, about $40. $40. Dollars. That is great. That is mm -hmm. so well priced, and it's hard to find something in that $40 range right, that's, that's different. 
good size, limited, yep. collectible, mm -hmm. and uh, just stylish. something different. Yeah, yeah, stylish. I love the so. pose on that. I love honestly, I love the pose on all of these, but I really like the Batman one because of the way that his thumb like wraps around the cape. Yeah, I he think just kind of like mm, yeah, he's like know, I'm here. Rooting, but yeah, <laughs> he's very uh, stocky. Cute. I think that's what made Pops popular yeah. is that it's sort of cutesy, cool. I think the same thing, it's sort of like this. I actually saw somebody yeah. uh, comment on one of these one time saying, it's like the adult pop when they grow yes. up. Yes, like, I can it's see true. That. I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the Wonder Woman because of course she is the only female in the Trinity, so of course I have to do her. I like this one. I like the power pose where she's just standing like she's ready mm -hmm. to knock someone out. And I love how her hair is just kind of whipping in the wind. It's just a fantastic design. She just looks gleeful. And she even has like these little lines around her eyebrows that make her like look pensive. So I think that this is fantastic. My only drawback with her, her feet are massive. Yeah, the, so the designs on these, their feet are big. Yes. And that's okay usually when it's a guy because that yeah. sort of makes sense. It just doesn't transition as well, she I think, like to Shaq. a girl. <laughs> that's yeah. my only drawback. Back with and that. the eyes are a little different. Now I understand yeah. why he does that as art. You want the girl eyes more than like the little circle guy. It makes right. total sense. Well, plus for you know female, like if you're doing like that anime look where they have the big eyes, I think mm -hmm. that that's okay with this. I, I don't mind that. No. But her hands and her feet are both just like boom. So yeah, I mean the the Wonder Woman I would say as far as design mm -hmm. is maybe the weakest in the line. Not that any of them are weak, but right. it's probably the weakest in the line. Right. But if you do look through his catalog of characters that he mm -hmm. draws. Some of the females in him are great, yes. and, and I really hope DC goes through and, and lets him make more of these, like the Harley. Yeah, because like Harley and Joker are absolutely awesome. Yeah, I would love to. And his, and his Poison Ivy. I mean, yes. he has a ton of them. I'd love to see this in in every single character he's created in DC and beyond. I would love right. to see them in this. Right. I would totally, totally collect them. Hopefully, there's not a bunch of variants though, because it's going to get very costly for us. And then finally, we have Superman. Now, this one's cool because usually when you see Superman. He's, uh, he's heroic, he's mm -hmm. happy, sort of. Right. Um, he, he's the good guy, right? He's always the good guy. Where this Superman, the design is, he looks like he's ready to, to beat somebody up. He looks like he's a boxer. Yeah, he looks tough. I do like the boxer aspect yeah. of it. And I love the lines in his face. And again, they do the same thing they did with Batman where they gave sort of that blue, washed mm -hmm. shadow look right. around the eye, which I really like. And uh, the mouth being actually sculpted in mm -hmm. is really great. Uh, I just love how it looks sort of comic-y because you have a lot yes. of lines. In I was getting ready to say all of the lines are outlined in black like you would see in a comic. Yeah, and I love the hair. I mm -hmm. love how he's not bright red. It's a little dulled down yes. maroon looking red. So uh, just great. Great design choice. Great color theory. Mm -hmm. Overall, I think these are fantastic. And if you want to collect them, I think they're totally, totally worth it. Again, limited to 3,000 pieces. So we talked about those a little longer Mainly because everything, this is the platform that all the rest right. are going to be involved they in. They have the exact same pose, exact, exact same, same pose. design, just the coloring is yeah. a little different. New paint job. So let's move on to the next variant. Up next is probably the most boring line out of this entire series, and it's the black and yeah. gray line. But it's only limited to 500 pieces, so yeah. it's pretty hard to find. Yeah, these are kind of, uh, whether you, if you become a big fan of the line, if you want to buy right. them just because they're very limited and they're kind of cool. Some mm -hmm. people are very f big fans of the black and white variants of different yeah, things. Yeah, yeah. You know, it kind of gives you that, that idea that it's older. Mm -hmm. It's on black and white exactly. TV or something like that. And that's kind of the reason I bought them. Mm -hmm. uh, well, I was going to buy them anyways because I think they're really great. I like them. Yeah. I think they're different. Yeah. Uh, so, again, we have Batman where Batman is just... He looks almost the same as the regular version because almost. the paint apps are the same. Right. You just don't have the purple in the back of the cape and he doesn't have a skin tone on right. his face. Right. Or the blue around the eyes. That's now switched to gray. Right. So, you know, pretty boring, I guess, in a way. Uh, but for Batman, that's his color palette anyways. Yeah, exactly. And I think it looks pretty cool. Now with Superman, again, this one sort of reminds me of, I would say, George Reeves. Oh, yeah. You know, this, this is what that is. This is what I think of when I think of the old television Superman. That's mm -hmm. what this is. Yeah, so yeah. It crossed over well, I think. Again, one good thing about the black and white is those sketch lines, those comic lines. Mm -hmm. They yes. really come through a little more yes. sometimes with the black and gray. So, again, big fan of that one. And finally, the same thing can be said about the Wonder Woman. Now, I feel like she could have had a little bit more of like a harsher outline since it's black and gray around like her torso and stuff like that. You see them, but not nearly as harsh as I feel it should mm -hmm. be. Yeah. I mean, I'm not an artist, so it same is Same problem is, I think some of the black and white statues yeah, yeah, have yeah. where they, they decide to choose darker tones of gray instead right. of just black. Yeah, and I don't know if that's because he's trying to make this one a little more feminine, but I feel like the harsher lines could have worked really well. It helps contrast Right, exactly. Yeah. But I this one. I yeah. mean, it's cool. fine. And then finally moving into probably our favorite variant of totally. the set here, and that's the GameStop Think Geek set, and they are mm -hmm. the villains. The yes. villains. So basically what they're taking, they're taking the superhero, say Batman, right. and his arch enemy, mm -hmm. the Joker, yes. and combining him and making him a Batman Joker. Now this one is 
Probably my favorite. I would definitely say my favorite of everything, everyone that's been made. Mm -hmm. uh, for many reasons. First yeah. off, I love the green cow. I love the smile, the stitching mm -hmm. on his nose, the lines, the purple around the eyes. Uh, the, just the colors overall look fantastic. I love the bat logo that's where it has all the, the kills probably yes. or something. The red. I mean, just everything. But if you look very, very closely, there's blood splatter all over this thing. Absolutely, there is. I love this. I love the color palette of it. It just is so vibrant and pops. I like how you can see the speckles of blood like you pointed out. And just it just looks so menacing in that pose. Yeah, like, it's, it's just kind of creepy looking. This is the one to have, in my opinion. Mm, my now, way. again, you can find these at GameStop and ThinkGeek. These are limited to a 1,000, though, so right. they're much harder to get. Yes. And boy, did we have a hard time getting them. It yes, was not easy. We actually had to have help from the community. Yes. I was able to get Batman. We went a couple of hours to find it. it. Took a long drive. We drove all over the place, but we were able to hunt him down. But I could not find the Lex Luthor Superman and the Cheetah Wonder Woman. These are very, very hard to find for us, and mm -hmm. we didn't have somebody reach out to us that lived in the state. So thank you, Todd, thank you, for thank helping you. us. It was a great help. I mean, honestly. Yeah. Now we actually did see it later down the line when we went uh, right. San Diego Comic Con hunting yep. for pops. Uh, but still, I was just. Better it's safe than nice, sorry. Yeah, to have them secured. Yes, and so the Lex Luthor one, I was a huge fan of. Lex Luthor Superman, of course, and I love the green on it. Mm -hmm. It's got metallic and flat right. green on it, which I love, and it's also got metallic purple and flat purple on it too. So mm -hmm. it has this just great overall look. I love the bald head. Yeah, that's my favorite part. And the and purple the around the thick eyes. Eye, uh, thick eyebrows. Yeah, yeah, I mean this one's great too. This is another one, another must have. And is when like two toned, it uh, like it's, it's got, got like a very like a subtle, to it, yeah. yeah, very subtle washes in the skin tone. It's not all the same, which is uh, That's why cool. I like these so much. Yeah. And when is the last time you've ever seen a mashup of Lex Luthor and Superman? I that know. is a cool, cool mashup. Very cool. So I love that. I also love the Cheetah and Wonder Woman mashup. I think this is fantastic. I love like the little dots on her skin. She looks like a cheetah. It's great. And I don't know why, but this is probably my favorite out of the villain line. Um, I love the Batman. I think that it's great. But I really like this one a lot too. It's just the subtle different. details in this and it's different. And you don't get too many cheetah things, so I think yeah, it's cheetah. Just awesome. You don't get a lot of cheetah stuff no, at all. You don't, do you? No. I think we will though with the next movie coming out. Yeah, I think out, you're right. I think cheetah's gonna play a major mm -hmm. role in that, hopefully. hopefully. So I would assume cheetah will be in everybody's mindset within yes. in five years. Everybody will know who cheetah oh, is, yeah. and you'll see a lot more stuff about cheetah. <laughs> Which is cool because she's a cool character. Yeah. So again, you can probably find those at Think Geek more than GameStop. Yeah, definitely. Rarely did we find them at a GameStop. They came in that one week and they were gone, but Think Geek right. seems to restock them a lot mm -hmm. better. There's only thousands of them out there though, and I know a lot of people right. have liked these. So if you do like these, run to your store, call your places, whatever you gotta right. do to try to find them. Now up next, it's the zombie version. This is Hot Topic, of course, that kind of makes sense, right? Of a Hot Topic exclusive of these. I only saw them online. I don't think I ever saw them make it actually mm, in stores. No. Now these are limited to a thousand again, so they're pretty limited as well, but the paint apps on them are absolutely fantastic. Mm -hmm. I only bought Batman and Superman. My full intention was to just buy all Batmans again, but when I think about it, I probably should have bought the Wonder Woman too, because yeah, I think probably. the Wonder Woman was a really good design as well. So going over Batman, Again, we're going to stick with that black and gray color palette. However, the black is more charcoal, mm -hmm, which right. uh, it just gives it a dead feeling. Same thing with the gray. It just has an overall dead feeling, which is really great. And if you look very close, there's green washes inside the black. So again, the paints on these are not normal. No. They're not just like vinyl that they mold and throw it together and glue right. it together. It's not that. You really gotta look close. And that's what makes these things so special to me. Mm -hmm. Is that's where the forty dollars I think if if they were just like molded and, and sent to you they'd be twenty dollars. Yeah. But I think that extra twenty dollars has gone into that extra special paint. I really think did. so. There's more attention to detail in it. Uh huh. And with this one you have weird lines going all over it. They're not so sketchy, they're not right. so comic y, they're more uh, organic. Yes. So I like that as well. You have to see this in person, I think, to actually mm -hmm. appreciate the paint yeah. job on this one. Now, Superman is the same way. Of course, the skin tone is different. It's more of like a robin's egg blue color, yeah. which mm -hmm. I really like. Love that. And I love how you can see the yellow veins on his face that's just kind of popping through. And then just like a touch of dirt has been brushed into it. I love that. And then, of course, you know, the skin, blood yeah. dripping from his mouth. It's just, it's a fantastic design. And then I just like how everything's dulled. His cape is like a grayish, reddish, black color. I don't mm -hmm. really know what just to dirty. call that. Yeah, The tights are ripped. Everything about this just screams zombie. I love this so much. Again, I love how there's like 
speckled paint yes, all over it. Yes, yes. You said robin's egg blue, and that sort of reminded me of the eggs you get during Easter. Yeah, yeah. The gum. Yeah, you're right. That's kind of how the paint apps are on That's some exactly of these. You look it at is. it up close, it has the little speckles all yes. over it. So great. And I love the color. I, I, love, I love how that really sticks him out much more right. than what a Batman is, where he's, his color has gone away. Well, Superman's I, actually gained color. I think way. that if they would have done something that took away more color from his face, you would have lost his face with his suit. Mm -hmm. So I think that the way that they did this, it really makes it pop and stand out, and I enjoy that. The reason I like that one so much is because that one actually reminds me of Bizarro. Yeah. So you could actually right. put him right beside the regular Superman, yeah. and then you would think, oh, that's Superman and Bizarro. Exactly. So I like that one. I might actually like that one more than the Batman. I'm not really sure. The Batman's really cool, too. Mm -hmm. I, I, I like that one. Now, again, I screwed up, I guess, and I didn't get Wonder Woman. Yeah. Uh, the Wonder Woman, again, is fantastic. It's got the same sort of paint app on this. We have small veins and mm -hmm. dirt and right. blood and all that. Uh, again, Hot Topic exclusive, limited to a thousand pieces. Now for the Glow in the Dark series, this is from Box Lunch, and we only got the Batman version. We didn't get the other two, which kind of sucks, yes. but... This is so cool. I really like it, and the glow on this is really, really bright. Yeah, now they've actually molded the phosphorescent inside of the plastic here. Yes. So it's not just a paint job that you can see right. some glow. This thing glows. It stands like a radiation. out. Yes. Exactly. And I didn't think it was going to be that good until mm -hmm. after I got it, and I was like, why did I not buy that? Why did right. I not get Superman and Wonder Woman? Because these are so great. They're so cool. And they sold out real quick, and mm -hmm. I was like, no. Yeah, because they're limited Superman. to a thousand pieces, too, so they're going to be hard to find on the aftermarket they're kind of expensive yeah ebay is getting them prices up and the thing is once they started hitting instagram and people started seeing them yeah they were selling they, they were, were selling well i know in our instagram people responded to them very well yes they, they responded very well so that one is super great if you want anything glow in the dark get that that this is one. so cool and finally let's talk about the san diego comic-con exclusives there were yes. three of them and these were actually mm -hmm. exclusive to entertainment earth so that was sort of their exclusive one of their exclusives three of them were exclusives for, for San Diego Comic-Con, and they were all very, very cool. Yep. Um, they were all different price, though. All of these were about $40. All the regular ones were about $40, where these were $60 and $75. And then they also had a gold and black version that was actually signed by Chris Dominguez. It's a right. real one. Right. A real autograph, and it was 100 bucks, And it was only limited to 300 pieces. Yep. So those sold out real they quick. They were gone. I had them on pre-order, but a, a lot of times when you pre-order something, it's, look, We'll send it to you if we don't sell at the con, and right. of course it's sold out at the con. So let me go over these a little, uh, a little more in detail. First up, we have the gray and blue version. This sort of reminds me of Adam West. Yeah, definitely it does. Kind That's of the comic the, version the, too. The logo's bigger on it. Yeah, it's just sort of different. It's just a little different. I don't know, but um, I like this one. This one's mm -hmm. very, very good. And this one was limited to 1,500 pieces. So this one's uh, about half of what the regular ones are, right. but 500 more of what the other variants were. Mm -hmm. So this one you can actually. This one was readily available. It's yes. sold out now. You can't get it unless you go online. But I think you can still get them for around the same price of what you yeah. pay for online. But I really like this one. I love the blue. I'm just going to call this one the Adam West one because yeah, that's what I assume they were going for. I'm not 100% sure. But it it's also so it looks more like the comic version too. Mm -hmm. So I, I just don't know what this one is, but I really like it. Now, speaking of the blue and gray version on Toy Fair this year, they had this, the first one was released, and that was a metallic version of this. Mm -hmm. And that thing is crazy expensive on eBay if yes. you want to buy that one. That's the one to have right now. Um, but uh, overall, two very cool looking ones if you want the metallic or the regular one. And then finally, my favorite one. This is the one I wanted the most. <laughs> I wanted this one so bad, and I was I was literally like, please don't sell at the con, please don't sell yeah. at the con. He was sitting here with fingers, toes, crossed, everything, please. And that's the Flashpoint Batman. I love Flashpoint Batman. If you don't know the story, of course, that's Batman's dad, Thomas Wayne, mm -hmm. uh, in an alternate universe if actually Bruce was killed and his mom right. went crazy and became the Joker. And uh, Thomas decided to take up the mantle of being Batman yeah. and fighting crime and with a sword. Great, great, <laughs> great, great story. I love it. And great outfit. I've always loved that red, that mm -hmm. red, black, and yeah. gray Batman. And they nailed it with this design. This design really is did. fantastic. Now, this is only limited to 750 pieces. Yeah. This one is a lot more rare, but man, it looks really great. I love the 12 o'clock shadow. That's what I was so getting ready to say. Those red eyes are piercing. Yeah. The just overall look of this is great. The red really stands out on that more so than I think the yellow does, and I love this one. I, I love this one too. I actually bought two of these because, Did you? yeah, I just bought another one to keep it just in case I want to trade it down the line or ever have the opportunity to well, do it. Well, you might be able to use it to trade one. it for one of the ones you're missing. Mm -hmm, yeah. So I'm a big fan of this one. I absolutely love this one. 
And uh, unfortunately, it also sold out on Entertainment Earth again. But uh, really, really great. So overall, that's the set. What do you guys think? I'm so interested to know what you guys think about this line because this is something I think a lot of people are going to maybe collect if you're DC fans. Yeah, yeah, If they ever ran into different lineups like Marvel or whatever, I think people would want to collect them too. Mm -hmm. But I think what, what makes this one such a good thing to collect is the price for one. Yeah. $40 or great. less. We paid $31 for some of these to yeah. get on sale. I think that price is great for a collectible like this. Absolutely. I mean, really, it I is. mean 40 bucks for a statue, you really can't go wrong with that because a lot of statues, like minimum price starting is around 50 bucks. So I think these yeah. are great. And with them being plastic, it's not like you're going to have a fear of it like falling and breaking. I yeah. mean, you could have that happen, but I don't know. I'm, I'm more of a fan of this. And it's not cheap plastic. It's no, more it's like not. a hard vinyl. Right. So it doesn't feel cheap at all. Everything right. is solid. So mm -hmm. there's no like squishing parts or anything like that. That. And these look great as a set together on yes, your shelf. they look absolutely fantastic. So guys, let us know in the comments, what do you think about this? Is this something you guys would collect or have you collected? I uh -huh. know a lot of people are starting to collect them. I know you guys are hunting it down and it's yeah. always fun to hunt toys down. Yes, especially That's something new. Fun. Yes, and variants. We love variants. Variants yes. are great. Uh, just overall, I'm excited about the Artist Alley mm -hmm. line. Uh, I've seen some new ones coming up in the future. So they yeah. got some weird ones yeah, and they, they got do. some cool ones that are coming out. So very excited for this. I love when when major companies like DC give opportunities to maybe yeah. smaller artists um, that they think maybe would transition well into a statue. Right. So great line. I'm very excited about the future. Again, let us know in the comments what you think. Alrighty, guys. So that was it. And thank you guys again for watching, and we'll see you next time. Thanks, guys. Bye. Bye.